Now it may happen when we have a counting problem that some restriction is given and usually in this case when there is a restriction we should consider that restriction first uh, before applying any other principles. Okay, so for example we have a locker which is set to open with a code which consists of a sequence of five digits and those digits are chosen from the usual set 0 through 9. How many codes are possible? Okay, and now we're going to have some restrictions. First of all, if there is no restriction, any digit may be used in any position. Okay, so this is a very typical problem in counting. And basically this is just uh, filling slots. So we have five slots to fill here. And we have to think about the number of different ways that we can fill these slots. Okay, and if, if there's no restriction on the possibilities, then there's 10 digits that can go in each of the slots, right? So for each slot, there are 10 possibilities. The fundamental counting principle tells us we need to multiply these possibilities. And so the total is 100,000. All right, now let's see what happens if we have a restriction. Part B says zero may not be used in the first position, but otherwise any digit is okay. Okay, so just one little restriction cannot use zero in the first position. So again, we have five slots to fill. Only now, uh, zero cannot be used in the first position. That reduces our number of possibilities from 10 to 9 for that position. No restriction on the others. So we still have tens for each of those slots. But now look and see what happens to our total with just that one little restriction that reduces our number of possibilities in the total by 10,000 codes. Okay, now a different sort of restriction. Any digit may be used in any position, but no repetition is allowed. If no repetition is allowed, Again, we have our five slots, and we have uh, ten possibilities for the first slot because we haven't used any, but for the second slot, we've already used one. That leaves only nine possibilities. For the third slot, we've used two. That leaves eight, and then seven, and then six. Now, if we multiply these together, Got my calculator here, that'll help us. 10 times 9 times 8 times 7 times 6. The answer is 30,240.